All right, fantastic. Welcome everybody to this month's edition of the Aruna Construction Update. Uh, there's been a lot happening behind the scenes and a lot of exciting progress happening as well. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Rachel Jensen. I'm the broker owner of Luna Realty Belize, and I've been working here with Aruna to uh, to help them get the, the project sold. And it's been really exciting to see all the progress that's been happening. Um, it's actually probably one of my favorite locations here on the island, which I'll share in a bit if you're not familiar with it already. But there's just been a ton happening here. So the property is located on the west side of Ambergris Key. So if you're familiar with town or the island of Ambergris Key, there's San Pedro. And then directly west of San Pedro is where you find the Aruna property. It's about five minutes by boat, uh, 10, 15 minutes by golf cart from Secret Beach. So it is very convenient to go to if you are looking to take the whole golf cart ride around from town to the Aruna property, it'll probably take about 50 minutes to an hour, depending on how quickly it is that you drive, but you are able to access the project by road, which is exciting because of the location. So uh, I'm not gonna go through the entire project here because we do have a separate webinar on this. That is, this, this conversation here is really just to update you on what's going on with the project. I know we've had a lot of people following along over the last few months and you haven't had the chance to, uh, to get here physically, or maybe you were here and you want to see the latest happenings. And so we are here to do that with you today. So there's phase one and phase two that we're going to be talking about. Phase one uh, is this area over here, follow my cursor. Phase two is right over here and outlined in that purpley pink color right over here. And when you do take the boat to Aruna, you will land right in this area over here where the restaurant, uh, the, uh, the, the, the bar, and also the rooftop lounge is located. And then in this area right over here, that's the pool. And then the pier right here goes to the property. So this canal that you see indicated here on the screen is actually a, a man-made canal. So it's about a thousand feet long. So just to give you some perspective of the amount of space that's here in the property. So we're going to just jump right into the phase one progress. So over the last four weeks, uh, R11, that's this one right over here, this unit did go under contract. Um, in addition to that, the property manager started full time. We hired a designer for the pier, the bar, the restaurant area. So we'll get that area all designed and looking good. So over the next couple of months, uh, the, the property is going to be able to, uh, to be visited by people who want to maybe go grab a cocktail or something like that. Uh, the chef consultant was hired as well. So as I mentioned, there's going to be a restaurant and bar there uh, on the site. And so having that chef consultant is obviously key to making sure that it is a great restaurant. Uh, we also hired a contractor for the remaining four units here in phase one. So you can see my cursor right over here. So this is uh, the four remaining units at this point. From our previous sessions, you may have seen that the pilings were in. Um, the pilings that were there for these three units are actually being taken out and being uh, replaced because we have changed around the floor plan for these three units. Uh, the Sky 6 model right over here, that one is staying, but we've added another Sky 6, and then we added two different models right over here. So that is being revamped. Uh, in addition to that, there's that waterfront lounge area with sand and lounge chairs that has been completed. In addition to that, the balconies, the doors, and the finishing touches of phase one is completed. And I do have some photos of all this as well, just to show you. And then in addition to that, the material for the phase one, remaining phase one homes have been ordered. So that is this area right over here that I was mentioning to you that has been reconfigured a little bit. Uh, we have ordered the materials for these homes. And then in addition, additional landscaping has gone in and we are starting the seawall for the phase one homes that are on the canal. So if you can follow my cursor, uh, these homes that are here at the top part of the site map, this, uh, these homes are located on the canal. So we're putting in a seawall or a retaining wall over there so that it does prevent against any future uh, erosion in that area. And then of course, uh, I mentioned this last month, but there has been a price increase on the two remaining units here on the canal R4 and R7. Uh, since I've started with them, there has been no price increase. So uh, now that the homes are going vertical, we're a few months away from uh, opening and, and being ready, we are um, seeing a price increase for R7 and R4 as well. So yeah, you'll see some photos here. This is the lounging area. So you can see that the seawall has been extended, um, more sand brought in. And then this is the area where you're able just to lounge up and get some uh, umbrellas out there too. So it's not all sunny, but you're able to lounge up and uh, enjoy the sunshine. I mentioned to you also that the exterior finishes have been completed. So we restained the rails, the deck, also the door frames and uh, the doors. And you can see that in some of these pictures here that, that the property has been restained, also the repainting of the exterior. 
and then put in additional landscaping. Here, that seawall preparation that I was talking to you about, um, doing the retaining wall there to uh, prevent against the erosion. And then also the white lattice was added to the bottom of the homes, just so you can't really see the uh, the back of house stuff, we'll say the back of the home stuff, or really under the home stuff, um, the, to give it a cleaner and sharper look. So that has been added across the line over here. Uh, we also added a new phase one home model. And with this model here, it is going for 179.9 plus closing costs. There's an additional plunge pool that can be added, but the furniture is included in that 179.9 price. And this is really designed for somebody who wants to be on the garden side, looking for somebody um, who maybe is looking for a lower entry in than some of the other properties that we have. And you see that it is a bit smaller in square footage, a little bit less exterior space, but there is that pool component if you are looking for that plunge pool to have a little bit of privacy there on the garden side with your own pool. So just to give you a recap of what this model looks like, so you access them this way, you have a wash closet or washer dryer that can be added here. You have owner lockout storage that can be added over here, a king size bed, full bathroom with a shower and then a full kitchen as well. So that was one of the pieces of feedback that we received from people is they wanted a little bit more than a kitchenette. So if you are looking for, it's more like, a, I mean, it's really a studio, like a full studio size here, then you are able to capture that. There's only one of these available. Um, and uh, at this point, since the other, the other home site did get under, go under contract, but this one is available if there is anyone looking to get you know a little bit closer to entry you can do that 60 percent financing if you choose and then from there uh, have your own little place here in paradise all right so let's go through phase two quickly so we just have the land surveyors out here to uh, prepare for construction i mentioned to you in last month the contractor has been onboarded and so the materials for the phase two homes have been on uh, have been ordered as well so we are looking towards the end of this month to get started. Um, I say looking to because in Belize there seems to always be delays and whatnot, but uh, hopefully by the end of this month, the construction will start to go vertical on uh, a handful of these phase two homes. Do know that in phase two, these are built on demand. So uh, they are built as they are getting sold. So we have three tiny homes right now. And then one of, it's actually a three bedroom model right here that will be beginning in this next phase. Uh, and then I mentioned this to you in our last session, but C17 through C20, this area right over here can actually be sold as a home site. Uh, and then you can build your own home under the under the Aruna CCNR. So you just want to make sure the home matches the style and whatnot. But if that's something that you're looking for, you're able to do that as well. I know for a lot of people, they just prefer the turnkey package. You know, here's the floor plans, here are the renderings. You can do a little bit of tweaking to it. But if you're somebody who is looking to uh, to build your own home, and design your own home, you certainly are able to do that in Aruna in C17 through C20. And then I mentioned this last session as well, but there are additional amenities for phase two. That's going to be the outdoor gym and the playground follow my cursor in this area right over here. This square that you see is a yoga platform or yoga palapa. And then in this area is where you'll find that outdoor gym and the playground as well. All right, so let me tell you about our targets for the next few weeks here. One is getting that signage around town in the office. There have been signs ordered. So now it's just getting them um, delivered and then up around town. So hopefully when you're here, you'll be able to see signs and arrows pointing you to our Aruna office and then getting over to the property. Also go vertical on the gardens homes. Uh, so again, towards the end of this month is really when we do anticipate that the remaining four to be built. Uh, there has uh, been some pool and restaurant progress in the sense that we've hired the consultants to come on and get it finished. So we will expect to see more progress through the rest of this month, more of a visual progress. I mentioned to you too that the gardens homes are ready for owner usage. So, or sorry, not the gardens, sorry, that should have said the uh, the, the canal homes. So that the canal homes are ready for the owner usage, which uh, we've discussed, and also the mangrove restoration, which uh, is something that we've talked about in previous sessions. But you know, along the canal over there, getting mangroves back in and repopulating is really important, especially for the fly fishing that happens there within the area and just fishing generally. So April next month, we are expecting the final work for the pier to be done um, and or at least to be getting started there. The pool, rooftop deck and kitchen and the restaurant set up, that's all under that pier area. And then also getting those materials and crew, crews mobilized, as we talked about, to finish up the last four phase one units and then construction on phase two, which we mentioned in our last slide. And then end of quarter two, our target is still to have the guests, the, the, the rentals ready for our incoming guests. So 
it is all indeed moving along. So I wanted to just give you a little bit more information about the properties that are available here. Again, this isn't designed or this isn't intended to be a session that's entirely about the Aruna property. We have done previous sessions on that. If anybody wants to get a copy of that, feel free to reach out to us. We'll send you the recording. Uh, this is really just to give you more of an update about what's going on. And of course, is there any shifts or changes in the site map? That's really important for you to know too. So uh, we're going to discuss the availability in phase one, R4, R7, and then R10, follow my cursor again, R4, which is the Tikal model, that's the larger studio. R7 is the Sky 6 model, which can either be two studios or finish to be a true one bedroom. And then R10, that's our petite garden studio right over here, the one that was just added to the list. So with the canal front studio, the one that's for sale, the price is $234.9, and that does include the furniture in there. What really makes this property and this, this specific suite and uh, studio unique is the fact that it has all that outdoor space, tons of outdoor space. I mean, more outdoor space than there is interior space, and this is on the canal. So this deck is overhanging the canal and be able to fish right off of it or uh, at least have those really beautiful views. I uh, hear some photos from the balcony from the veranda area. And you can see there are doors uh, lining the wall over here. So you're able to access the outdoors very, very easily and just really enjoy the, the outdoor space. In Belize, we do tend to live outside and that's a big you know, component when you're also looking at square footage you tend to see more of that outdoor space. So again, showing some more of the veranda here. Uh, this is again, going for 234.9. And just a recap there of the floor plan. Uh, so you can see it a little bit better. Here we can see the canal front Sky 6 model. So this is the model that is designed to be either two studios with two bathrooms, you know, studio with their own bathroom, or it can be finished as a true one bedroom. Uh, this one I think is probably one of the most prime units on the property right now because of the location. It's right there um, towards the beginning part of phase one. So it's close to access the amenities. In addition, the views that you have from this area is just unbelievably incredible. Um, do note that for the canal front one, there are no stairs going up. This was specifically for the gardens ones. Those did sell, but you do have the ability to have all of this outdoor space here. Now, with this specific unit, it really is up to the owner to decide what they want to do with it, right? You can have it be the two studios, as you see here, the two studios, or you can finish this area off to be a true one bedroom and have that kitchen and that living room, room space. So these are going for three nineteen nine. dollars If you're an investor, you may want to keep it as two individual studios because it doubles your chance for increased rental income. And maybe if you want to do a kitchen of some sort, you can put that outdoors over here. But uh, if you're somebody who's thinking more down the lines of living here, right, or spending significant time here, then you may want to consider making this a true, a true one bedroom. So I do have... Um, a couple of snippets for you just to be able to see and visualize it a little bit more. This would be from the veranda of that Sky 6 model. Uh, you can see the canal right there. You can see the views that you have right out there from your balcony, from your veranda, and it just truly is incredible. We did have a client who was looking at this property specifically, so we did do a walkthrough uh, just to give you a little bit more of a feel of what it's like as you are entering. So this is the side that could be added as a living room or one bedroom, or you can keep it as the studio component. You can see, and I'm gonna pause it for a sec, but you can see that we've kept some elements, um, not, you know, we've kept some elements open so that it can be decided what you wanna do with this. If you wanna keep it as two studios, then you can close this off entirely, or maybe have a connecting door. If you are keeping it as a living room and then a bedroom on the side, then you can add the door there to be able to access it. So we wanted to give owners just a little bit more flexibility with what they wanted to do. Note that this is a construction site, so uh, everything is, is not done, but this would be the kitchenette area over here and then walking into the bathroom. Obviously the vanity and everything uh, was not done when we were doing this video over here, but it would really be customized to be what that person is looking for. So now we're walking into what would be the second studio um, or it would be end up being the bed, the primary bedroom, depending on what you want. This area is the bathroom. Obviously, it'll be closed off. It's not going to be open. You can see my finger there. That's where I was explaining what's going to happen with the bathroom. Uh, but it will obviously be full, a full bathroom and you have the, the shower element there. And as we continue uh, walking down the property, follow my cursor where you see the chair, that would be the kitchenette for this specific studio. So you'd be able to... Uh, to Right, there you go. There's the finger. You'd be able to uh, have the kitchenette on either side. 
uh, if you do want to keep it as two studios, even if you want to keep it as a uh, as a one bedroom, you can always keep that kitchenette in there. So just to give you a little bit more insight, right, as to what's going on. But there I was explaining that you're able to close that off and really have that be what you want it to be. It can be a closet if you want it to be. Uh, it can be doors, all up to you. So now we're going to just take a quick trip outside to get a feel of what the property is like. And again, the veranda just really is an incredible aspect of this looking right out to the canal. So um, this this is the Sky 6 model, model R7 going for 319.9. And then you can see there's stair access on both sides. So if it is kept as a studio, then you'd have access from, from both ways there. So hopefully that just gives you a little bit more of a feel. I know a handful of people on haven't been before. And so uh, those are probably listening up on YouTube as well. And it gives you a little bit more about what the property is like. So this is the specific Sky 6 model R7 that is available. And then here's that petite garden suite that we added. Uh, there is only one of these available at this time because it uh, the other site has been marked as under contract. But do note here that it's going for 179.9. The plunge pool is not included. This would be an additional fee over here, but it does include the furniture here. So just something to note. And this one does have that washer dryer. If you are the hookup, if you are looking to have a washer dryer in your home, um, and then in addition to that, the king bed and a full kitchen and and whatnot here. So square footage is a little bit smaller. Uh, it's about 467, not including the pool space, um, but about 467 square feet. Round that up to about 500 square feet if you do end up just putting the terrace here instead of the pool. So there's still a nice space to be outdoors, but uh, you just have a little bit more in a sense in this suite, but just a little bit less, a little bit less square footage. And then the phase two models, we mentioned to you that these are built on demand, the tiny homes, the two bedrooms, and then also the three bedroom models. Models, they start at 340 and go up to about 550. And if you're somebody who's looking to do a little bit more customizations, you certainly are able to do that. Um, you know, obviously it, when it's pre-construction is when we're able to really capture what you want to do. There will be the change orders for it, uh, but do note that it is an option. I do think, however, these are really quite well laid out so that you have a lot of flexibility here. This is the two bedroom, two bath model. And I do have floor plans specifically if anybody would like to see that. And then the Udara, this is a three bed, two bath as well. So if you are not sure what you're looking for, um, feel free to reach out to me and we can certainly go through those details. I would love to be able to help you out on just again, R4, uh, the one right here, this is that larger studio model. R7 is that the model that can either be two studios or it can be one, one bedroom or R10. And that is the model that can be the uh, that's this, the, the petite garden suite, we'll call it, and then phase two continuing on down the line over here. So a lot that's going on with the property uh, next Friday, next month on Friday, April 14th, we'll have our next update session. You'll be able to register that through the website, 2, 2 p.m. Eastern time, lunarealtybelize.com backslash webinars on there. That's where you'll find all the registration links for our upcoming sessions. However, if you are interested, let's do a virtual tour. I can hook up Zoom. We can we can put the video on. You're able to walk through the property. I can stop at certain areas, go in different condos or different suites so that you can get a good feel of, of what the property is like as well. Um, I do certainly recommend reaching out. I am guessing there's going to be another price increase when the property is open and, and the first phase is completely done. So, you know, we always like to reward the people who are forward thinking and and come in within the first initial phases um, because it takes a little bit to have that insight and to be able to uh, to see into the project. So we just wanna thank everybody here for joining us. Really appreciate it. And I hope to hear from you soon. Bye everyone.